Hello and welcome to the first uh, tutorial, uh, the first video of a series of tutorial teaching you how to manipulate data using Visual Basic. You can use either Visual Basic 2008, just choose either from Visual Basic 2008 to 2012. Uh, you can even, I think you can even use Visual Basic 2013 in doing this okay uh, at the moment I'm using Visual Basic 2012 and I'm gonna teach you how to manipulate data or insert delete update and search for data on your database you, on your database the database that we'll be using today is access so I'm not gonna do this uh, by by uh, using the wizard uh, we're gonna do it manually so we could understand grasp how visual basic do things so to start up um, create a database in your access uh, open up your access I did it ahead of time already as soon as you open up your access access will ask you to name your database I named mine um, DB tutor as you can see on top of the screen and after that uh, go ahead and create a table uh, the name of my table is customers DB and the fields are right here as you can see the customer ID I placed it on a, the data type of the customer ID I placed it on auto number so that we uh, it will ensure I think for me it will ensure that uh, since I place a primary key here a unique key here on the customer ID field it will ensure that no number ha uh, no data has the same customer ID um, the following are the other fields are named in text as you can see customer name text customer address is on text customer telephone number is on text as well the reason for this is maybe some of you might want uh, to add a plus sign um, when typing the customer telephone number and the customer email is text and contact person is text so if you're done doing that you can close your um, you can close your access save it and close it now open up your visual basic I opened up mine already sorry about that okay uh, as soon as you open up your your visual basic it will show you a form form here a form now the first thing to do is you need to connect your project to a database so I did that already ahead of time because <laughs> I was having uh, a problem with the recording application in recording this video uh, so I <laughs> made this video a couple of times already and hopefully this one will be successful uh, so connect your project to a database so you need to go to the projects menu and click on add new data source click on database then click on next select data set and next and as you have noticed I already have a connection on my database so just if you want uh, but I'll show you how to connect to a database click on new connection and make sure since we're using an access database make sure that this one is Microsoft access database file OLEDB then browse for your for your database so as soon as you can see uh, you see your database the location of your database uh, click open then test the connection if the connection succeeds then press ok after that uh, press next then make sure to tick the tables and name your data set I named mine 
DB Tutor DS. So, when you're done doing that, just click Finish. And as soon as you've done that, you would notice in your toolbox that data that Visual Basic has generated these three components for you. DB Tutor DS, Customer's Table Adapter, and the Table Adapter Manager. You will find that handy soon. Uh, and also, you will notice in your Solutions Explorer, you will notice that this two, the dbtutor.accdb and dbtutords.xsd, was generated also for you. So, after that, you can go and you can proceed in designing your form. Uh, click, uh, go ahead and drag a menu strip to your form. After dragging one, name it, name the first menu as file, and underneath it, uh, name it customer database. After that, uh, go to your solutions expl explorer. Uh, here, as you can see, I have added a folder. I called it main forms. Uh, you can do that by just right clicking on your um, project and go to the add option and click and just click on new folder and, uh, and name it main forms. After that, I right click on the main form folder then click on add and click on windows form name your that windows form as customer dbvb okay now as soon as you do that uh, a customer uh, a form will show a blank form will appear to you uh after that uh, uh click a go ahead and create a menu strip again put a menu strip on your new form and put the following options on top of the form after that since our our customer table in our database has uh, six six fields you should uh, go ahead now and uh um go ahead now and uh get some text boxes on put some text boxes on your on your uh form six text boxes and two buttons after putting six text boxes and two buttons on your form uh, uh group the all the items just to six boxes and two form and go to the properties go to the properties of the the form just a minute something wrong is happening and on the property section just disable it here put the enabled property to false uh the reason for that it will I'll show you in a little while after doing that um drag uh this one the db tutor data set to your to the data tray and after dragging one go to the properties option and name and replace the name to my ds after replacing the name uh drag a control a customer's table adapter to the data tray then rename it as well to customers ta now we're going to start our coding so <laughs> first of all uh, you need to cl click on the add option this one the first option double click on it and <laughs> this will appear the add tool strip menu click now as you notice there is an open form sub event I ro wrote an open form sub event here but before